Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Neil Bagajong, Director of Student Life and Career Services. Before we begin this graduation ceremony, I would like to ask our audience members to adjust your viewing angles, make sure you can clearly see the screen, and turn up the volume on your device. You're watching on YouTube Live as a premiere, and our chat window is open for you to congratulate your graduate or to say hello to one another. We also have campus ambassadors in the chat room to answer any questions and assist. While this commencement is virtual, we were able to celebrate in person with our graduates at our outdoor grad fest last Saturday. You'll see more of that fun celebration in just a little bit. For now, and throughout this virtual ceremony, we will ask our graduates and their friends and families to share their celebrations with us through social media. You can do this on any social media platform by sharing images of your grad and your celebration and using the hashtag Ivy Columbus grads. We'll search for them and then share them on our Ivy Tech Community College Columbus Facebook page. So be sure to visit at facebook.com backslash Ivy Tech Columbus and like it. And now let's get started. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, get through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free and the home of the brave Class of 2021, family members and friends, welcome to the 51st commencement ceremony of Ivy Tech Community College Columbus. As Chancellor, it is an honor for me to be here with you during this virtual commencement. Today we celebrate the graduating class of 2021 to share in their happiness and to witness their confirmation as college grad graduates. This is a time for parents, spouses, children, relatives, and friends to honor their special graduate. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Ivy Tech Community College, I want to thank you for joining us on this special occasion. This ceremony serves as a second virtual commencement for our campus. One year ago, we presented what we thought would be our first and only virtual commencement to keep our campus community safe at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. Many of us thought we would return to campus long before now. However, due to the unexpected and unprecedented circumstances of this pandemic, our college and our campus continues to operate mostly virtually. These circumstances have greatly affected much more than this graduation ceremony. They have significantly altered every part of our lives. Our graduates, their families, as well as our campus colleagues have endured and adapted well to the constant challenges brought on by this pandemic. Graduates, you have persisted through the most difficult and demanding times in recent history. 
You met the challenges head on, figured out how to navigate uncertainties and overcome obstacles, and you succeeded. You have earned the credentials bestowed upon you today, and you deserve this moment. Let me be for the first of many who will tell you, congratulations. The genuine excitement our campus community feels at this time for each of you this year makes celebrating with you virtually a mixed blessing. While we are happy to have this time to formally recognize you, we do wish we could honor you in person today. This year we feel very fortunate to have had a time when we could gather safely with many of our graduates at our first ever Grad Fest. This event held last Saturday in our campus parking lot gave our graduates, faculty, administrators, and the staff the opportunity to celebrate. It was so nice to be able to see each other in person after more than a year of online and virtual classes. We'll show you more of that celebration later. Before we continue, let us take a moment to recognize the past and present military personnel watching today. Student veterans are awarded these red, white, and blue cords. If there's a veteran in the room with you, please thank them for their service. You can also take a picture and share on social media with the hashtag Ivy Columbus grads. We would also like to take a moment to recognize our healthcare professionals, police officers, firefighters, emergency personnel, logistics, hospitality, and other essential workers during this time. If there's an essential worker professional present in the room with you, please thank them for their service. Also, you can take their picture and share on social media with the hashtag Ivy Tech Columbus grads. I would also like to thank our campus and state trustees. First of all, Jesse Brand, our state trustee, Richard, Richard Beckcourt, our campus trustee chair, Derek Kittner, vice campus trustee chair, Kathy Oren, trustee secretary, Jim Trueblood, Jim Roberts, Kathy Covert, and finally, Marilyn McGrone Conley. Thank you to our trustees for their service. We extend our appreciation to all these individuals for their contributions to this institution. We'd also like to recognize the college's academic officers whose guidance and counsel have directed the college's growth. We also recognize the state legislators and governor for their support. And finally, we recognize our campus colleagues. They are not only skilled professionals in their respective career areas, but also dedicated to ensuring that each student receives a quality education. And now I would like to introduce the chair of our campus board of trustees, Richard Beckort. Good afternoon. On behalf of Ivy Tech Columbus Board of Trustees, I would like to extend congratulations to each one of our graduates, your families, your instructors, and your supportive friends. We first recognize you, the graduates, on this special day. You have reached an educational milestone and we are extremely proud of you. Your fortitude and determinate, determination to reach your goals and complete your certificates or degrees provides each one of us with inspiration. These are all traits that will serve you well as you move forward. We also pay tribute to the faculty and staff of Ivy Tech Columbus and to all those who have invested their time and financial support to help our college continue to grow and provide the highest quality education to the residents of the counties that we serve. At this time, I would like to introduce a representative of the graduating class of 2021 to speak on behalf of her classmates. Charity Mudd is celebrating the completion of her Associate of Science in Nursing. This is the second degree Charity has completed at Ivy Tech Columbus. She previously earned an associate degree as a healthcare specialist. She is now continuing her education at IUPUC to earn her bachelor's of science degree in nursing and has recently accepted a registered nurse position at Columbus Regional Health on the Progressive Care Unit. It is my great honor to introduce Charity Mund. Thank you, Richard Beckert, Chairman of the Campus of the Board of Trustees here at Ivy Tech Columbus. Greetings, Dr. Combs, faculty and staff, family and friends. Thank you for joining us today to take part in the commencement celebration for the graduating class of 2021 from Ivy Tech Columbus. The graduates here today are nothing less than exemplary. In the face of uncertain times, we have held our heads high and faced the future with tenacity 
and determination. Graduates, this day has been the culmination of countless hours of Zoom meetings and creative measures. Seriously, this has been the longest lesson in adaptive thinking known to man. Even the Marines would be proud. Someone needs to call the Guinness Book of World Records about putting this accomplishment in the Guinness Book of World Records. And I don't know about you, but I'm tired. And if anyone is looking for that last minute graduation gift for any of these graduates, all of us could use a nap. Earning an associate's degree from Ivy Tech is a major step in growing your education and your career. Though you may not walk across a stage today, make no mistake, the degree that you have earned from Ivy Tech will open doors and set the stage for opportunities Ivy Tech graduates are well-rounded, experienced, and well-received by the employers and communities that you will work in. Graduates, we should all be immensely proud of the accomplishments that we have achieved leading up to today. My journey to my Associates of Science in Nursing began on July 15, 2019. I remember nursing orientation like it was yesterday. When I walked in the room, I saw the same confidence in each new nursing student that I saw in myself. This was a level playing field, my friends. Each one of us would be something unique to this experience. I found a seat next to a familiar face and quickly made friends with three other ladies who would become known as the five. We didn't have a secret handshake or a clubhouse or a cool jacket or anything like that. But what we did have was unwavering support for each other and a connection that would no doubt last a lifetime. Ladies, we thought this day would never come. And here we are for the first time in two years going in separate directions. For some of us, this degree will propel us to another degree program at Ivy Tech. But this day is bittersweet. For many of us, this will be the end of our time here at Ivy Tech Columbus. The degrees we have earned today have not come without sacrifice. Without our families and friends' support, this day would not have been possible. To the moms, dads, siblings, grandparents, husbands, wives, and children, thank you. For me, I would like to thank my parents, Fred and Marty Wyeth. I know I'm a little late to the party, but thank you for never giving up on me. Dad, I know that the last few years have likely been the most difficult of your life. Please know that everything that you have done to make today possible is greatly appreciated. To my in-laws, Bob and Kathy Mund, Thank you for the countless hours of childcare and the encouragement through everything. To my siblings, Dawn, Julie, and Matthew, you have no idea how much your championing me has meant. To my husband, Brian, and my boys, Riley, Graham, and Raymond, you four have sacrificed the most. Thank you so much. I love you. To the five, Misty Hawkins, Allie Minning, Felicia Nelson and Elizabeth Liz Thompson, you are my people forever. To the instructors and staff who believed in us and gave selflessly, thank you. I'm sure we've each had at least one instructor that pushed us when we just couldn't push ourselves. Danielle Robinson, Dean of the nursing program was my instructor. Last fall, I had Danielle as my complex med surge instructor. I was not doing well on my exams, which is not something I was used to. When I expressed this to Danielle, I was beside myself. I was borderline hysterical. And Danielle said, when we go over this exam, bring your notes, bring your outlines, bring everything. Let me see how you are studying. And I brought everything. She met me in a Target parking lot, you know, social distancing. 
and went over my study materials. She said, you have a lot of information here, but it's a mess. After streamlining my notes, we were able to get me back on track. Danielle, without you taking the time to meet me in that Target parking lot on that night, graduation day likely would not have happened for me this year. Thank you. As students, we often don't get to see what goes on behind the scenes to make everything run like a well-oiled machine. And as such, these individuals don't always get the well-deserved recognition they should. It's no secret that life is unpredictable. To my academic advisor, Amanda Berkman, I have not forgotten how kind you were to me last summer when my pursuit of a nursing degree came to a screeching halt. You did everything an advisor is supposed to do, but what stuck with me is that you reached out to me as a person, not as my advisor. I was more than a face in the crowd, more than a student number. When I was in a very dark time, you were there for me. Thank you. Graduates, there will never be another graduating class like ours. We are unique. We have faced a different learning format and we succeeded. We've had to transform our homes into our classroom and we succeeded. We may have sacrificed some of our traditions, but we have made way for new traditions like today. We have weathered the storm and we've come out the other side better, stronger, smarter and we are better prepared for anything we may encounter because of these experiences. Today, while you are gathered with your families, I encourage you to take a moment and reflect on the journey to this achievement. Be mindful of all you have accomplished and the people that have stood by you along the way. Whether you are moving up to a new career or moving on with a current career, or growing your education with a four-year university, the education and experiences you have earned at Ivy Tech Columbus will serve as the foundation for the goals you aspire to achieve. Graduates, it is our time to give back. It is our time to become assets in the communities that we live and work in. The education and experiences we have gained here at Ivy Tech have more than prepared us. It is our time to deliver on the promise we made to ourselves and to others when we started our academic journey. Congratulations, Ivy Tech class of 2021. Thank you, Charity. You truly are a wonderful example of how Ivy Tech can help our community members achieve their dreams. Now we come to the highlight of this ceremony, the conferring of our graduates' degrees and certificates. The conferral of college degrees is an important occasion. It is the culmination of not only the industrious efforts of our students, but also the culminating product for the institution itself. Institutions such as Ivy Tech Community College are measured by the academic quality of their graduates. As the Chief Academic Officer of the Columbus campus of Ivy Tech Community College, I attest that these candidates have completed all the requirements and demonstrated the originality and excellence appropriate to the degrees and certificates the college bestows. In accordance with Ivy Tech Community College policies and procedures, I present the candidates for the Associate of Arts degree, Associate of Science degree, Associate of General Studies degree, Associate of Applied Science degree, Technical Certificate, and Certificate. To signify the importance of this occasion, Ivy Tech Community College President, Dr. Sue Elsperman has provided a message for our graduates. Smooth seas do not make skillful sailors is a wise African proverb. This past year has placed us on sea with huge waves and storms. None of us had been prepared for a pandemic. Few of us even paid attention in early 2020 when we heard the new term COVID-19, and yet it has humbled and taught us much. The great generation did not become great because of the year they were born, 
but because of the life they endured, which made them the most resilient generation ever. Selfless, hardworking, humble, and industriousness. Graduates, you have the opportunity to be America's next great generation. You have succeeded during a time of adversity, great and small. Many of you have seen your own livelihoods or those of your family and friends on the brink. All of you have seen your day-to-day -day world close down, reconfigure, and transform into a much smaller virtual world. Your courses have turned virtual. Your day-to-day -day work has been masked and socially distanced or in front of a screen working alone. Accountability has been significantly increased in quarantine, contract tracing, testing, and finally vaccinations. You have not gotten to share daily events with a wide range of friends and family. Milestone accomplishments have gone largely without celebration. This adversity, large and small, coupled with your resilience to move forward in the midst of a pandemic will define your future. You have shown a mark of greatness by persisting during a time of challenges. Your next mark must be earned with launching yourself into your future. I speak for all of Ivy Tech's faculty and staff when I say we are proud of you. We have done our part by creating the opportunity for you to learn grow in competency, and reach your goals towards a degree or certificate, recognizing it may very well be the first landing of many as you march up the steps of success. Enjoy today as you celebrate a chapter well executed, but no later than tomorrow, begin to craft where you will go next, how you will continue to grow, thrive, and contribute Ivy Tech will always be here for you, for your next credential, for your next skill up, for career coaching, for alumni engagement, for advisory boards, for partnerships. Graduates, I hope you will join me in thanking the Ivy Tech faculty and staff who have made your successful educational journey possible. While I believe they are the best in higher education, this year, they proved themselves to be exceptional as they also had to figure out how to teach and provide services in a mostly virtual world. While I cannot guarantee when COVID will be behind us, I can guarantee that the road ahead will have highs and lows, successes and learning experiences. Ivy Tech will always be here to help you take that next step forward or to skill up for your next career change. And finally, I want to ask that as you succeed in your career, family and life, to continue to also pay it forward to your community, to your church, to others. That could mean volunteering at a local food bank, serving as a church leader or running for elected office. Indiana is a great state because of countless Hoosiers who go above and beyond to look out for the health and the well-being of others. Commencement is our favorite day at Ivy Tech. I sure hope it is for you too. We wish you well as you launch a new career or transfer up for your next level of education. We wish you much success and happiness and we hope that you do big things that make a difference to your family, community, our state, and nation. Thank you, Dr. Elserman. And now, Dr. Kara Monroe, Provost of Ivy Tech Community College, will officially confer the degrees. Exercising the authority of the State Board of Trustees, legally vested by the people of Indiana through the General Assembly and the Governor, and delegated by the trustees to the President and her team, and recognizing your nomination by the faculty and with the approval of the administration for having successfully completed the prescribed courses of study, I now confer upon each of you the appropriate degrees and certificates with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereof. Congratulations, graduates. We now come to the moment when we would have students walk across the stage to accept their diploma at our in-person ceremony. 
Given the circumstances, we unfortunately could not accommodate this tradition. However, some of our students were able to get photos in their caps and gowns taken at our grad fest last week. In place of the stage walk, we will display the names of all our graduates, including the outstanding graduates of each of our programs. Normally, we would ask you to hold your applause. However, we do not ask that you do that. We want you to hoot and holler wherever you may be watching. We would love to have you share this moment with us. So please feel free to take a photo of that hoot and holler and share them on social media with the hashtag Ivy Columbus grads.
please help me congratulate the Ivy Tech Columbus Class of 2021. Graduates, as tradition holds, I will now ask the Ivy Tech Community College Class of 2021 to move the tassels from the right side of their caps to the left side, symbolic of moving from students to graduates. For those who did not purchase the cap this year, I ask you to turn your virtual tassel. Our student speaker, Charity, will lead us in the turning of the tassel. Family and friends, Please feel free to record and take photos of this important occasion and share them with us through social media using the hashtag, you guessed it, hashtag Ivy Columbus Grads. Charity, will you do us the honor? As we bring the ceremony to a close, we want to show you more of our Grad Fest celebration last Saturday. This was such an enjoyable time for our campus community to gather with our graduating students at a safe and fun event. Graduates spent time with their instructors, received their diploma covers and cords, had their photos taken, and we even offered them a free meal from our visiting food trucks. Check it out. Thank you to all the graduates who joined us at our first ever Grad Fest. To conclude the ceremony, I wanted to share with you a view of our new main campus building site. This structure, which will measure more than 80,000 square feet, will serve as the hub for our entire six county service area and house many of our high quality academic programs. We recently held a virtual groundbreaking ceremony for our new campus and we will move in one year from now. While we regret that our students graduating today won't get to take advantage of this new facility, we do welcome you back as alumni to experience it. Graduates, we hope that as you move forward, you will continue your involvement with Ivy Tech through our Campus Alumni Association. This group provides you with the opportunity to stay connected to Ivy Tech, network and socialize with other alumni, and help future students like you reach their goals. You can learn more about our Alumni Association on the Ivy Tech Columbus Facebook page by viewing the Alumni Association group. This virtual commencement will remain available on our Ivy Tech Columbus YouTube page and will be shared through our campus Facebook page at facebook.com slash Ivy Tech Columbus. We hope that you will share it with your family, friends, and fellow graduates who are not able to join us live. Our 2021 virtual commencement of Ivy Tech Community College Columbus is now adjourned. Thank you and best wishes for your future. Hi, I'm Carleen Metzger and I graduated from Ivy Tech and I have now returned to earn my RN degree. I love being a student at Ivy Tech because of the wonderful staff and faculty who are always willing to help. Being a student at Ivy Tech has allowed me to gain a lot of leadership experience by being involved in NSLS, PTK Honor Society, Student Government Association, and the Student Leadership Academy. My name is Christian Dale Hurstein. I am graduating in 2021 with an Associate of Applied Science degree in Business Operations, Applications, and Technology. I would like to thank Kelly, my academic advisor at Ivy Tech Community College Columbus, for all of her wonderful support over the course of my college tenure, and to one of my teachers, Neil, for helping not only with classes, but with my resume.
I chose Ivy Tech because it was close to home and very affordable. I really enjoyed the Ivy Business Club with Donna Zay because we were able to go to different businesses and see how they operated. My future goal is to be part of marketing or sales and Ivy Tech has helped me with that because I was able to take different classes to narrow down what I wanted to do. Lastly, I would like to say thank you to Kelly, my advisor, for everything you've done. My name is Claudia Hernandez and I would like to thank all the faculty staff. They were always very supportive. A special thanks to instructor Bob Jackson and Graciela Spencer. Thank you.